welcome to the channel today guys I will be covering Mass Effect Andromeda so my latest bit of news comes from issue 141 this is the September 2016 issue of Xbox magazine so they did a six, pe six page feature covering the game and all the new details that have emerged now to some people this might not be new but hopefully it is to me anyway so I know Gamescom um, the basically Bioware decided not to show the Mass Effect off basically because they're still working on the game and obviously they want to improve features before showing off to the world so in this article they basically cover the small details just detailing what will be new what people can expect and if you are completely new to Mass Effect that you don't actually have to have played the previous games to understand what's going on this game is set in a totally different universe a different time frame and it's basically meant to be a new story all about the new characters now basically from Bioware players will be taking on the role of the Pathfinder basically a human character a human this, this basically this human character is to be the main focus of the game you obviously your character you take the role of and you are to seek out new places to basically home everybody so you know home the galaxy you know you have to be the one to find that new place that new civilization and set it up so obviously on the way you won't be alone you'll be able to you know recruit allies again as you did in the first three games if you didn't know uh, they basically showed that they will showcase four races that we already know the krogans which are basically the big frog like alien looking likes the quarians which are the timid hand behind masks to breathe aliens the asari which are the, obviously as everyone calls them the sexy blue aliens and the solarians the basic lizard kind of frog guys which are just plain weird so anyway, they showcased them for races and said that they're most likely to come back as of their fan favourites. They did mention the Geth a little bit, but nothing really pointing to them returning as because it's a long story short. We don't know if they still exist anymore at that point. Um, other ones like the you know the most scary races that were introduced in the later game. So other other races we don't know too much about, but they have sort of said them for will be in. So if you're a fan of them, they might appear. Well, that was it. Turians are basically obviously another fan favourite, but again, Bioware said that they're not too sure if they put them in the game yet. Now that could just be to throw us off the scent, or it could be the case that they don't know whether they bring them in. They have highlighted that new races will appear. Um, a particular interest was a rumour points to another Prothean style ancient civilization. So as we know, we got to see a Prothean in Mass Effect 3 as DLC, and it did start a whole new controversy of the you know they can add aliens in and it does look better. So you know there's still that up in the air it hasn't been set in stone yet uh meanwhile bioware have also been working on the basics of the game so instead of the normandy we now have the tempest which is basically the hub of your game how you fly from planet to planet and you know civilization to stars you also have the mako makes a return so if you're a fan of mass effect one with the makeshift tank that was awful to control they have now reinvented it reimagined it redesigned it and also had the ghost company ghost games developers of 2015's need for speed actually redesigned this mako so if you're a fan of need for speed and obviously you've played how the games control you'll know the mako now is going to be a lot better hands and should work how you want it to work also moving on they've also got the hyperion which is basically an enormous arc redesigned long trip ship now this is basically once again referring to the old style mass effects they had the Citadel. So is this Hyperion basically the Citadel 2.m? We'll find out later on. And also a new feature, which obviously comes from Bioware's other game, is planetary bases. Now this is based off a simple feature that's used in Dragon Age Inquisition, where you join a planet and you're obviously on survival and you're navigating your way around. You can set up camp and obviously, you know, replenish stock, potions, change characters, you know, level up. Well, obviously, Mass Effect have thought, you know what, let's stick it in this as well. And obviously, they've pointed out that you might be able to add camps, bases, and also set up little civilizations on planet surface, which is going to be a great new feature and definitely will be a fan favourite. So, in a nutshell, that is pretty much what this article covers. It's six pages of lovely details, artists, you know, concept designs, but basically showing that, you know, it's not going to be totally alien and new. But it will be it will add a new perspective onto the mass effect series um small details like the full customization full customization in armor menus load faster and inventories will be cleaner 
So basically they are thinking about the players and they are showcasing that the game hasn't changed too much and anyone who's new to the series will definitely enjoy. The overall mechanics of the game, you're still third person, it's still free form, still got guns, gadgets, resources, side quests and collectibles. So you know, the whole Mass Effect and what Bioware do best is all going to be featured in this game. And basically there's no release date as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure you can just pre-order on Amazon, their own website, but basically there's no set date. Because obviously they need to push it back to, you know, improve on the mechanics, then do so. You know, they shouldn't really release without being that game as best as it can be. But overall, guys, this game is looking very, very promising. And any more details or news I get for you, I will upload. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And please remember to like, subscribe and comment.